You know, I've been offshore fishing 50 years. I got a lot more questions than I do answers. Here's one for you. This ballyhoo has to swim perfectly for a tuna to eat it. He's a sharp-eyed critter and he's smarter than the average bear. But this Yozuri made out of plastic with six hooks on it, he'll plow all over that. This one might be a reaction strike, this one may be hunger, but I can tell you they'll slam both of them when they're in the mood to eat. Man, 60 miles out in the open ocean, there is nothing like it. But listen, don't come all the way out here without a plan. If you're going to hunt pelagic game fish, you've got three choices to make. Say you know exactly where your fish are, you're headed to a wreck or you're headed to a specific ledge. All you need to know is how to fish live bait. If you have no idea where your fish are, you need to know how to pull high speed lures so you can cover a lot of territory and show your baits to a lot of fish. In between the 14 to 16 knots that you pull high speed lures at and the dead crawl that you can fish live baits lies a spread like this. This is my favorite way to fish. We'll pull some ballyhoo and some hard plastic lures at long six to eight knots with amazing results. Listen, the tuna and the wahoo seem to gravitate more toward the hard plastics while the dolphin and sailfish lock in on the ballyhoo. We're still covering plenty of territory, we're showing our baits to plenty of fish, but we're getting more strikes than we ever would at 14 to 16 knots with high speed. It's the most versatile way to fish, it'll put more fish in your box at the end of the day. Man, if we had a time out on the open ocean today, let me tell you about today a little bit. We got a high sky and bright light. What that means is the fish really weren't coming to the surface. We did best by dropping a spread of these hard plastics. Now there's a few different ways you can go with these. For me, I always put them on a wire leader because I feel like they wobble better that way. It gives them the maximum action and has them dive deeper. You put a lure like this on braided line, it'll get 20 feet at least under the surface where the sunlight's not such a factor. This smaller one like these, the little Yozuri Hydromag, was dynamite on big black fin tuna today. With a bit ballyhoo okay, but they really zeroed in on these plugs that were deeper in the water. They didn't have to deal with so much sunlight and they chomped on these lures today.